All right, Alabama fans, it's yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, coming on here to give you an update from day one, the first day of spring practice for your Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach Saban spoke with reporters on today to recap day one, and he had a lot of nuggets to share with everybody. So first and foremost, we'll jump right into it. Three players will be out for spring practice, will not participate at being wide receiver Ja'Cory Brooks, Offensive lineman Dorian Dalcourt and reserve outside linebacker Keanu Colt all out for spring. Will not participate in spring ball. This is due to some injuries and things they may have sustained in the previous season, whatever the case may be. But Coach Saban said Ja'Cory Brooks, Dorian Dalcourt, Keanu Colt will not practice here for the Crimson Tide in spring ball. So when you look at Ja'Cory Brooks being out, Here's a chance for J.I. Hall. Here's a chance for Christian Leary. Here's a chance for JoJo Earl. Here's a bigger chance for Trayshawn Holden. Here's a chance for maybe you know, a freshman, an Aaron Anderson, or a Kendrick Law to really get into the mix here, building that chemistry, that connection with one Bryce Young. With Darian Dalcourt out, this could firmly supplant uh, Seth McLaughlin as that primary center here for the Crimson Tide throughout spring and going into the fall. And then with Keanu Colt out, I know Alabama has Chris Braswell and Quandarius Robinson, but this opens up an opportunity for two freshmen, uh, Jeremiah Alexander and Giad Campbell, as enrollees for spring ball, a chance for them to get in here, show what they can do, impress the fans, impress the coaches, impress teammates, and get time there on the field. As we switch this now to the offensive tackle position, uh, Coach Saban mentioning a lot of competition going on right here, and especially after losing Evan Neal to the NFL draft and Chris Owens to the next level, Crimson Tide replacing both guys in both offensive tackle positions. Now, they have some bodies that can perform a job. Coach Saban named Kendall Randolph for the spot, Damian George, J.V. on Cohan, Tommy Brockermeyer, and J.C. Latham in that battle there for the offensive tackle spots. Now, in terms of Cohan and Damian George, they can play guard as well. They both can work in that phone booth. We saw this this past season with, with Cohan at that left guard position, but... There's competition, a lot of high battle, a lot of high pushing going on here to try to get both of those tackle spots solved and rolling there and protecting Bryce Young coming up in the fall, but starting off with spring practice. And last but not least, Saban already very high on the three transfers. Eli Ricks, defensive back from LSU, Jameer Gibbs, running back from Georgia Tech, and Jermaine Burton, wide receiver from Georgia, saying they all looked very impressive out there today. Jameer Gibbs is trying to be the number one back here on this roster after putting up 1,800 all-purpose yards and seven touchdowns for the Yellow Jackets a season ago. When you look at Jermaine Burton, a guy that wasn't targeted much at Georgia, but he finished second on the team in receiving yards with 497. In two seasons, we're talking about 53 receptions for 901 yards and eight touchdowns. The guy is a playmaker. Whether he's a slot receiver, whether he's an outside guy, We'll see. Coach Saban impressed with him. And Eli Ricks played 16 games at LSU, 31 total tackles, six pass breakups, five interceptions. So here's a guy that will not more, more than likely start at one of those two cornerback positions outside boundary spots here for the Crimson Tide on defense. But this is yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, just coming on here to give you an update from one Coach Saban after day one of spring practice.